You and I are standing guard in one of the last great open spaces. These people think that if they're tough enough, smart enough, and mean enough, all this will be there someday. In this movie, you're able to see all the different aspects. You've got all these storylines, and this, this first one really whets your appetite because it's kind of like Lonesome Dove. You see like first parts of it, and then you're like, oh, I just got to see the next. I want to see how these stories resolve. Is that, is that kind of the goal with, with the four different films? I don't try to do what everybody else is doing. Um, I, I like my stories to, to go till they're done. Yeah. And I like them to be entertaining all the way through. Uh, and I like when we actually see ourselves in characters that we're having to live 150 years ago, how they might have to behave in any situation. Gonna be with Dad. No, no, no. Your work with your the band Modern West, uh, the song "The Man That I Am." Great line in there. You say, "If I was the man they wanted me to be, I wouldn't be the man that I am." Yeah, what, yeah. Who? What? 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 What is the contrast there? Who is the man they want you to be? Well, I mean, there's. I mean, listen. I, I, I did. A, I had a series of films where people wanted me to make the second, the sequel, the sequel, the sequel, and I thought, no, it was a pretty good movie. I don't need to make the second one or the third one or the fourth one. So I, I wasn't making sequels. Not that I'm against them. I think they're incredible money makers. But I, but there was a push for me to do certain things that I was just very interested in: small movies, big movies, whatever kind of movies. And now when I finally found a movie that I was going to be like four parts. No one wanted to make it, and I thought, okay, well, if, you know, if, you know, there's other movies they'd like me to do, but I want to make these. So I really kind of, like the West, had to look to myself, and I used my own money to make these, just simply because that's what I feel that I have as a relationship with an audience that pays money to go into a theater. It's like when it gets dark, is this movie going to take you someplace? When you finally see one where you feel like it puts you in a spot where you don't know how you would behave, you could say to your son, you could say to your wife or your daughter, whisper to her, said, that, that was a tough situation right there. Did you see how that got handled or didn't get handled? Um, that's what I hope, that this is, has, has a life well beyond that people continue to share it with each other. Any thoughts on St. Louis? You've been to St. Louis. Uh... I uh, was there with you for one of your movie premieres. St. Louis, number one, I, when I was little, it was the Cardinals. It was Brock, you know, yeah. Lou Brock. And I just, I just loved him. But, but St. Louis is so somehow on the, the opening, and it, it couldn't be broader, those gates, the opening to what was going on out there. Because when you said goodbye, you were gone. When you left, once you left St. Louis, once you started up the river, you were gone. That looks like a promising place. The place I might be able to see myself. But people left with hope. And what was that? That if they were strong enough, if they were tough enough, if they were mean enough, anything they could hold on to could be theirs. And it was this awesome promise that kept people coming. You use that much this year? Haven't had much need of it yet. Looks like we got ourselves a bad man right here. 